Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Problem, and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. Let's real talk for a second. The real estate market right now is crazy. So I'm filming this video mid-July in 2020. And let's face it, it's tough to be a buyer in today's market. On the one hand, it's actually a really good time to buy if you're thinking about getting into the market because the interest rates are so incredibly low, which strengthens your buying power. But on the flip side, because there's so many buyers out there because interest rates are really low and because especially in this area, we have a lot of people migrating out of the city areas into the suburbs, there's so much buyer competition out there. So if you are gonna be a buyer in today's market, it is extremely, extremely important that you fully educate yourself on what's happening in your local market. So in this week's video, I'm gonna break down one of the most common terms you're gonna come across when you're shopping in this market. And that phrase is highest and best. You may also see the phrase best and final or some other derivative of that, but they all essentially mean the same thing. So let's break it down. There's so much buyer demand and just not enough supply out there. So while you're out there and you're shopping and once you find the house that you absolutely love and you wanna make an offer on, odds are there's going to be other offers on the property, especially if it just came on the market. So once you see the home and you decide you wanna make an offer on it, your agent might tell you that there is a highest and best deadline and they'll give you a date and time or a best and final or, or like I said, some other derivative of that. And basically what that means is you have until the deadline to put forth your strongest offer on the property. The best terms you can offer and the highest price you can offer on the home. This basically means you have one shot to submit an offer. There is no negotiating. There is no back and forth with the seller. The seller is going to look at all the offers they have on hand by that deadline and they're going to make a decision and pick one. So your highest and best has to be your true highest and best on the property. Now I get asked the question of do we really have to hit that deadline and truly that's going to come down to the agent and their discretion but the reality is the reason the sellers do this is because number one they want to put all the buyers on an even playing field and number two they want to make sure they are fully aware of all the options and all the offers on the table so that they can make an informed decision and if you don't hit the deadline say for example the deadline is eight o'clock on a Sunday night and you submit your offer on Monday morning well the seller may have already accepted another offer and they're under no obligation to review yours. In these types of situations, it's extremely important that you surround yourself with qualified, knowledgeable professionals. You see right now what's happening in our market is we're noticing a trend of actually how high above asking homes are typically selling for based on neighborhood and price point and condition. So when you come across this situation, really consult with your professional about what is common and what's happening in the market. And you know, I get asked this question a lot, you know, like how high should my offer go? What are the other offers on the table? What should my highest really be? And as a buyer's agent, I really can't answer that. Uh, number one, I'm not the one buying the house. It's you, it's your money. Um, and number two, we don't know what the other offers are on the table. And quite frankly, the listing agent can't tell us what they are because that gives us an unfair advantage. Advantage. So when you put forth your highest and best, it truly has to be what your highest and best is on the property. Stay tuned for my video next week because I'm actually going to be giving you 10 tips or ways that you can make your offer stand out in a multiple offer situation. So keep an eye out for that. But I will tell you, there is one piece of advice I always give my clients during a highest and best situation. So this is the advice I typically give my buyers. Let's take the terms of the contract aside, you know, type of loan, down payment, that, take that aside because a lot of that is fixed. Let's just talk about the price for a second. You want to offer the highest price that you feel comfortable going. And what I mean by that is if, for example, you go as high as you're willing to go and you don't win the deal and you find out six, eight weeks later when the house closes that the person that did win the deal beat you, but they only beat you by a thousand dollars, that you're okay with it, that you feel like you put your best foot forward and because the other people want it by $1,000, that's great, good for them, you wouldn't have gone that high. So for example, I just had this happen with a client. We offered 520,000 as our max price. We did not win the deal and we found out after closing that the winning offer actually offered $521,000. So they beat them by $1,000. And I called my client, I asked them, I said, are you, how do you feel about that? Are you sad that you lost by $1,000? And they said, no, that was the highest we were willing to go. We wish the buyers that won the house the very best of luck. Now, if the conversation went completely different with them, if they had found out, well, they lost by $1,000 and they were really upset by it, well, then the reality is they didn't go as high as they were willing to go on the house. And that's a lesson learned for the next house. 
My other piece of advice to buyers out there is be ready to make a decision. Unfortunately, with the circumstances being what they are, you have to move quickly. You have to be able to decide right away when you walk into a home or when you're done viewing the home, whether or not you wanna move forward with an offer on it and be ready. I talk a lot on this channel about getting pre-approved, narrowing things down, really focusing on exactly what you want so that you can make a fast decision. And in today's market, that is super, super important. So as a buyer out there, be ready to move quickly. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. You know, I really enjoy making these videos for you every week. So if you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below. And for all you home buyers out there, like I mentioned, stay tuned for next week's video where I'm gonna give you some tips and ideas on ways to make your offer stand out in a bidding war. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you next week.